Hi and welcome to a new project and another diorama. Um, this one is on a subject I'm really quite interested in, um, which is the Eastern Front and the Battle of Stalingrad. Um, so the kit I've got is by a Russian company called Armour 35 and it's a replica of the famous Barmali Fountain in Stalingrad. Um, it's made basically of plaster for the main structure and resin pieces for the children and for the animals. Uh, Bamali, um, it was the informal name of the fountain and it's seen in quite a few famous films such as Enemy at the Gates and the more recent Stalingrad from 2013. Uh, so the scene I'm planning on doing is a battle scenario between the opposing forces using solely using Verlinden figures. Um, the battle damage square is going to be made up using cork and foam sheets uh, with a vehicle, uh, Tamaya little car thrown in and that's going to be used as cover for the German troops. So when you open the box, you're greeted by the fountain, all packaged up, and three boxes. Um, the first box uh, contains three of the six children. Um, they're all in their individual little plastic bags. And the useful thing about that is inside each bag is a separate bag, which has the arms for each child in. So when you come to put them together, um, there's no chance of getting mixed up, the arms mixed up and they should all lock together nicely. In the second box again, the, the other three children. Again, we'll t I'll t have a closer look at those in a moment, um, but again, uh, nice little resin pieces. The final box um, contains the, the frogs, uh, that, the eight frogs that go around the outside of the, of the fountain, and the crocodile that goes in the center of the children dancing around. Um, and he's in maybe two to three pieces, pretty straightforward to put together obviously, and he'll go in the center of the of the fountain. So, so far all that's on the positive. Um, the only downside now to this is um, it's traveled all the way to the UK here from Australia across the world, and despite being quite well packaged, um, when it arrived, if I take off the foam that it came in and tilt the box slightly, you can see straight away it's already been battle damaged and it's one piece has turned out into a number of broken pieces probably 15 to 20 pieces now um, the only thing uh, that's not makes it quite so bad is this is going to be a bit war torn a bit of battle weary so once it goes onto the diorama i can um, cement all this together um, the few cracks won't make a difference um, to the overall look to it. But if you were ordering this as a standalone piece on a coffee table or something like that, um, you would be quite upset that it had arrived like that. Start putting the children together. Um, four of them are done already. Um, each child comes uh, attached to his own little piece of resin in their own separate bags as before and also in those bags come their arms individually as well so there's not much chance of getting them mixed up. Uh, another useful thing is uh, each child has their own special shaped holes uh, where the arms slot into. This one is a star and there's ovals and squares and round ones so if you did get the arms mixed up um, you couldn't make any mistakes really. Crocodile himself, he also comes uh, in six pieces, his four legs and the head, all just glues perfectly easy, pretty straightforward. Um, inside the box as well um, comes a little sheet with photographs of each child uh, and also the crocodile so you know exactly the pose that you're looking for for each one. And also really useful is a diagram of where they're all supposed to go on top of the fountain. Croc uh, it's all to scale so the crocodile fits on here and you can see by the footprints where each child, the feet of each child is supposed to go. Um, so you can't really go wrong um, once they're all put together.
So the 12 for Linden figures have arrived. Each box has a set of two figures each. Um, and inside each box simply is a little clear plastic bag like so, um, with the resin figures ready to assemble. Um, this uh, bag, for example, is this box uh, running for cover number 1553. So unlike uh, figures from companies such as uh, Mini Art or Dragon, for example, uh, these figures obviously don't come on sprues because they're resin. They just come on little resin blocks uh, just to chip off. Uh, this guy, for example, is the is the dead German. Uh, this one here, so he just has to be uh, chipped away from the piece of resin quite straightforward. And then other pieces such as the main bodies themselves uh, are pretty much already halfway there or almost completely made. Um, you just need to add the arms, the heads, um, sometimes the legs or the boots. Um, but So they don't take too, too long to put together. And as I say, all the equipment is there just to, to add to one. So it doesn't take too, too long to put each figure together. Um, and for these guys, I simply just use uh, super glue from the pound shop. Uh, there's usually seven tubes for a pound. Um, no doubt there are better um, glues and adhesives to put resin together, but I find this works really well. Um, it's immediate contact and, uh, and it's for the price, it's, it's fine.
this is where I'm up to right now. I'm pretty pleased with how it's all coming about. Um, and I'll just give you a quick run through now of the figure placements. First off, we've got the three uh, German soldiers coming in from the left. Um, the next three are right here behind the car. Um, I have to build up a little bit more cover for them um, because the car is quite small and they're not entirely out of sight of these guys. So I have to build up some sort of barricade or something or other. There's a bit of work to do there. Uh, the next three over here by the fountain are the Russian soldiers. Um, this, these two are obviously one of the sets, um, go well together. And these two firing on the, the guys coming in. And then at the back now, I've got the last two Russian soldiers coming into the scene and the German casualty on the end there. Uh, for him, the, his war is over. Um, so, like I say, pretty happy with it. Next job then is to start working on painting on the figures and starting on their uniforms. Start building up the car and some sort of cover here, a bit more cover for these guys hiding. Um, and then the, the groundwork itself, uh, start picking out some of the colours of the rubble, the debris, bits and pieces. Keep adding to it even. And also got you some pigments in the rubble. Um, and the same with the fountain as well. The base coat for the fountain, I've decided to use uh, Russian AF Grey. Uh, 71346 and um, that's going to be the base coat of the fountain and of the children on the top as well um, so once they're on the top as well it should look quite nice um, so that's about it for now so thanks for watching really appreciate it i uh, hope you've enjoyed um, you can keep up to date with instagram posts usually once a week or so um, and how i'm doing between the videos and uh, and i'll see you in part two thanks again